investors get back into things, they'll make it more competitive from the get-go. So a lot of steps still needed for the party astronauts to be highly competitive at this level, but I feel like we're seeing things start to fall into place, and it'll be really great to see it once Viz is part of the roster as well. Nothing against Peter at all. He's a solid player, but he had to come out of retirement to help the squad out in a very dire situation um, for the party astronauts. But once they have Viz here, it's going to be good. We stand dirty, Pete. Pete. I mean, the team always knew that this uh, this Pro League was going to be about gaining as much experience as possible in their first international foray, and their second international foray is very soon. They're in the yeah. RMR, right? Yeah. So they want to get that XP early and bring it into the next. But this round, they're getting a whole lot of Sun Payas XP. That didn't really work. But anyways, everyone's dead. Alex P would have been better. That would have been better. I missed the window, John. And you know who else has missed their window in this pistol round? The party astronauts. Yeah. Well, DJ, at least it's a headshot over on Mopaz. Dude, I'm really but, mad uh, at myself for not getting that Alex P joke. Oh. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get it next time, Mike. Don't worry. If you ever get an opportunity for it once more, <laughs> DJ's going to get one more before falling here, and the party astronauts don't have the uh, early success they were hoping for in that pistol round on their CT side. So that could be movie, movie star riders getting a few off of the pistol. We'll see if party astronauts do as they usually do here and force up, and yeah, they will. They will indeed. They're going to get spicy with it. Scout tossed over. Johnji will take the hit in this round. In order to set up his teammate with a scoot. Which it is interesting that John G's the guy who's left with nothing, considering he was their most effective player over on Overpass through most of it. Uh, I'm not actually sure where he ended up in the total tally, but it felt like, especially in their T side where nothing was working, he was the one who was maybe finding some inroads. That's a nice tag. You're Bone alone popping. Were you saying John G, Mike? Yeah. Now look yeah, at he him. Actually, look at he him. finished 14. Yep. Oh, uh oh. You have P play? Mopaz is looking for it. Never mind. Back to your point, John. Yeah, no, I was just going to say, John G felt like he was all over the place, right? Uh, on both sides, especially T side, but he ended up finishing at 14 and 24 and 70.8 ADR. So, well, Peter's going to get a shot here with the 5.7. Not as high as I thought, and it was actually Pone and Ben who finished at a KDR of 1, mm. even 18 frags apiece. So, they were the ones to really come back on that CT side, right? And you saw them being a dynamic duo towards B. DJ is going to get the shot with the Swag 7. Now, things getting a little spicy for Party oh. Astronauts. Peter around the corner oh. into Secret drops. Alex and Pone finds Davy G. Oh, my goodness. Death is going to have to do it all. Finds the opener on Peter. But uh, three players left for him to frag out here as the Movistar Riders on their buy-up getting taken down by Party Astronauts. Force and Ben just Goomba stomps Deaths. That will be that one-to-one -one tied up. Now, the only unfortunate part there is that DJ can't get an upgrade, but holy cow, what a good result for the party astronauts. That's uh, money in the bank. That's going to go a long way to making this competitive, and it's Peter, Dirty Peak Pete himself, the man they drew out of retirement who really does the bulk of the damage. They're holding the line down towards yeah. secret. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure they pulled off that classic action movie scene where there's a guy, like, in a bungalow somewhere, you know, just living his life, and then suddenly someone shows up. Munster is at his door. I thought I told you to never call me here. We need you for one last ride. I'm too old for this, but okay. Peter rolls on out, and there they go. A little bit of an exchange here early on. It looks good for the party astronauts, but the vent drop has been successful, and they're going for a bomb plant here. Peter's in position to deny this. Is he going to be able to? Yes. Yes, he can. Yeah, Movistar won't get a plant out of this. Peter's got it unlocked. And, uh, well, he's probably going to stay in this position. No, he backs away a little bit. Alex. Don't want to die there. Around from Squeaky. Yeah, you can, of course. Alex might get one. Ben exposed, and he wins it with only 9 HP left. That leaves Death's last one standing position now known as he fires away. And Peter will likely close him out, and he does. Death's falls to the ground, and party astronauts have a lead for the first time in this series. Most critically here, right? Uh, ben and John G were both about a bullet away from death, and they don't die, which is a whole big blessing for your economy. So uh, <laughs> they're going to be able to keep four players alive, three rifles and an SMG brought through into the next one. That is a uh, real gift from Movistar Riders, because now there should be another round where you can keep it rope clean, just blocks on the other side, a single eagle from Mopaz. Uh, and then they're going to try and rock on up with a, with a good start to this half, which... I mean, you couldn't be asking for, for a better result here for the party astronauts, right? Considering you lost the pistol. Absolutely. And this should be a clean third, right? Only a three should, of should. five we'll see. Deagle, that's it. Mm, damage 
pushed on outside. It'd be nice if that MAC-10 could get some of these kills. Some Pius up on top of Mini could be a problem. Could be a problem. And he is indeed. So no kills with that SMG, but also it's the only casualty so far. Yep, pretty straightforward overall here for Party Astronauts. John G drops the bomb, and that leaves only Davy G alive here on T-Roof. Just going to probably try jumping up to Marshmallow, I'd imagine. And there he goes. See if we can get a little roast going on here. How do you I like your... Do you, do you like Campfire Marshmallows, John? I do, yes. How do you, how do you like your, your Shmallow? Just uh, lightly toasted. You know, okay. Not, not too much. Are you good at roasting shmallows is the other thing, or are you one of those who, who I mean, always catches it on fire? It, I usually am pretty good with it, but it's been so long, Mike, since I've actually been over an open fire with a marshmallow. Like, uh, I've been, mm. <laughs> I haven't gone uh, camping or been in that situation for so long. The real technique, if you want a guaranteed yeah. for, for anyone out in chat who's thinking about roasting some shmallows, is instead of finding the, the hot flame part of it, find the coals. And, and get closer to the coals, right? And you're less likely to combust your shmallow, but you're more likely to get a more even toasting going on. It's a prime technique. I will remember that. <laughs> I'm usually too impatient to do that, though, and I risk it on the flame. And I'm about, I'm pretty good. I'd give myself like a like an 85% success rate of not catching the whole thing on fire. <laughs> oh, John G is going to find Alex through the smoke here. No fire needed this time. 5v4 in favor of the party oh astronauts. Pwn alone shuts down Mopaz. And all of a sudden, the party astronauts looking to build up a ton of momentum for themselves here on Nuke. Deaths, Davy G and Sun Pius have to fall back and reset here because the bodies are dropping and they don't have any control into either site. They're going to try making a move towards A, it seems, with Deaths and Sun Pius lining up and perhaps some utility going to be thrown by Davy G. No, the smoke will force them off even that position. Now, it's interesting to look at where Peter's playing, right? Because we were talking about potentially the double up coming in this is a huge flank from john g okay i'm gonna focus back in on this round john g creeping around the shutters anyone looking for this no not yet no not yet oh there's a freebie wants two he's got to there's the bomb delivered through and there's only one player stuck in squeaky behind these orange boxes and he'll only get one kill so one casualty in the round means that once again that bank can swell it's a complete shutdown for the party astronauts and we're again seeing those great elements of what worked on their ct side on overpass pwn alone hitting with that awp flanks aggression from john g outside giving him a lot of real estate to work with it, it's a great round for party astronauts this is what I was thinking might happen for Party Astronauts. Look, I know mm. it's still early here on Nuke, but they're more comfortable. They don't have to see Ancient in the pool or Dust 2. You've got three maps that you've seen before many times against so many opponents, even if it's not this level. It's good news for you. Um, and if they get to a third map, it's Inferno, which is also strong. In fact, the strongest map that Party Astronauts have in their pool. So we'll have to wait and see. Um, should they be able to pull this one off? Of course, it's still far from a sure thing. Jonji, going to toss a smoke towards Secret. Movie Star Riders are back onto a pistol buy up here. It's going to be a half buy. Jonji takes down Mopaz. Pomo oh, peeks and gets one boy. by Alex. That's a wicked shot. Alex is immediately going to try and retrieve that AWP. I would think no. He's not going for it because, well, the gap has been closed now. He just yeah, wants he to stay around lockers. It. I like this, though. I like this a lot. Peter will eventually get the headshot on him, even though he connects on Peter's shoulder, and that will restore the man advantage for PA. Let's talk about what Pete's doing here. We'll talk yep. about it more in a minute. But he's 8-2 right off the rip. That is very encouraging for the party astronauts. John G playing pop them heads. And, well, he'll only pop one. Not going to win any carnival prizes with that one. But maybe a rifle given over to Dodge VG and a bomb plant. No. Peter. Too quick for that one. He is doing a lot of work right now for this party astronaut squad. And that's is going to try and pull off a bit of a hero play. But this is a tough ask. Even the bomb plant is a tough ask. And... He's trying to bait out a bit more. He wants to win the round, and that smoke's going to fade. And at this point, your window to plant that bomb might have faded with it. Okay, never mind. Hit them shots, deaths. Make me stumble over my words. <laughs> if he goes up the vent, he's uh... dead. That's the one thing. That's got to be luring him over, but he's too wily for it. He's going to reposition. If this door were open, he'd be in a great spot. But as it is, he gets another Ooh. chance for a shot, and that one's going to go wide. Peter dancing with death here has been tagged. Not going to be able to plant anymore. Not going to be able to uh, to check anymore as death has gotten that plant money and a real premium chance to potentially put this one away. Nice flash thrown by Ben, and he will clean out deaths off of it. Nicely done here for the party astronauts as they are going to take the round. 
and make it 5-2-1. Still, it was a nice half buy for the Movie Star Riders. They punished the economy a little bit of the party astronauts. Luckily for PA, they've built up so much money that it won't hurt too much. As uh, Diffusal comes through, I think Peter just wanted to recover that AWP for Pwn yep. alone, and that'll be that. They got the comms. They took the second. They had the time, right? Knew you could get that off, get that AK upgrade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Settle down a little bit. That one got hairy. That one got got a little bit uh, a little little bit wiry. But yeah. deaths, good work. And one thing to note, Davi G has not cracked the board yet. 0-5 to this point has not been a good start here for Davi G. If they can get him online, maybe the movie stars could get enough firepower to crack through back onto this board. Because at this point, they've dropped five in a row. I think party astronauts are starting to believe that they can uh, perhaps win here. I'm a bit surprised that Peter didn't break out that double up. Playing towards ramp, but he has been pretty mobile for them, right? Moving yeah. back in towards lower, and he's clearly feeling it early on the rifles, which would be an exciting development for PA. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you already got nine frags running on the rifles, like you were saying, there's no point in switching it up to the off. Just keep him on that. Go with the solo op on Pone, who's already well established in that role, and see if it can work out. Oh, not this time, though. Sun Pius wins the op v op duel, and Pone alone takes a bullet right to the dome. The overkill, 400 plus damage coming through for Sun Pius. And now Johnji, waiting in big garage. Perhaps could catch Movie Star off guard if they come through here, but they're not going to. He gets the information at the very least. You're gonna hear those footsteps by Alex. It's gonna be the secret. Mo pause catches off DJ and lockers, right, and then right. Alex drops Peter. Now Movie Star have really started to bring it to party astronauts. Only Ben and Johnji left, and I think Ben was just spotted out. I mean, this is one of those situations where even though you have cash, this might be wise to turn into a save. Some pie is about to have a freebie. Mm. Uh, now the question is, where can John G even hide? In towards garage seems to be yeah. the answer. They were always going to drop one eventually, but that's a wonderful way for Movistar to do it, right? They uh, they move the players around over towards ramp, wind up catching the player in hell for free, catch Peter as well. No, they have that lower sight. No, they have full control, yeah. frankly. It falls apart for the party astronauts, and that's maybe um, a, a communication error coming through here. One of the key things with the synergy between a ramp player and uh, and the setups on A and, and Heaven is always going to be about knowing when you've given it up, when you're potentially vulnerable, when you're open to it. Uh, but either way, it is definitely a misfire for party astronauts. Still very recoverable, though, as they have the money to fully buy up and invest into this next round, but Movistar probably happy to get a second round on the board. Janji will be dropping for someone. I think probably DJ is going to toss a, a rifle on over, you would think, to ensure that DJ has a comfortable buy, and there it is. See this one again. Yeah, once Mopaz gets the player in hell, and then Alex finds Peter, it's just pretty much done. Nice job by Movistar, like you were mentioning, Mike, but here we go. Eighth round of play. Off comes through for Pone alone. Still the solo off and four A1Ss around it. Sun Pius. Immediately toss that Molotov onto the A-side proper. And then he's going to boost himself up onto Marshmallow to have a peek and see if anyone is uh, showing their face for the party astronauts. So PA is playing a lot more passively here. In fact, John G has been kept at bay. He's not going to charge up any further. DJ tosses a smoke into Squeaky. And now some spam from Janji towards the outer yard, but still no one taking damage. Finally, Alex connected on, and Davy G finds Peter. That makes it a 5v4 weak one, though, as Davy G's down to 10 HP, and Pone alone with the overkill from the off. Janji pushed through the smoke. That's a risky play, but high risk, high reward for Janji, as per usual, in terms of his play style. DJ finds Mopaz, and now PA have the three, excuse me, two-man advantage, Mike. That's where John G thrives in the chaos, and wow, that is very chaotic. Movistar not expecting that at all. Pone alone hoarding court outside. Some Pius is about to be flanked, and he's down for the count. DJ brings it through with his second kill of the round. What an answer for the party astronauts. Stumping yeah. Movistar outside, never letting them really into that round, into that site. That's beautifully done, and the Spaniards are going to take their time out here, their first time out, as they say, okay, guys, uh, we're going to have to adjust a little bit. Some of these, some of these plays yes. that maybe we're not so used to, jumping through smokes, chasing us down, <laughs> hunting us down, right? Maybe time for a little bit of a switch up, a little bit of a mix up here because that's a great rally round from PA. Johnji is the literal definition of a double edged sword. <laughs> like he's just sure, yeah. He he goes for those crazy plays, and sometimes they'll be unbelievable in their results, and other times you're like, Johnji, why? But but you have to accept that from him because you get that. So wild card, yeah. It's like uh, it's, it's 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 
I'm trying to make a reference here, but I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to put it together. <laughs> There's like cards in, in, in card games, right? Where you basically yeah. sacrifice your defensive points for all out attack. Mm -hmm. That's what Janshi gives you. Oh, yeah. Maybe you're going to be down, you know, a man at the beginning of the round, or maybe you're going to be in a 5v2. I think the great thing about him, too, is that he usually will do a lot of damage, even if he doesn't find a frag. Um, mm -hmm. So that's that means that, you know, even if he's not necessarily fragging out, he's still contributing, which is important, especially with that play style. Lobby star. Giving their outside player a little more utility there. Yeah, I mean, not even outside at this point, just up top. Throwing for yeah, an true. A execute would be my guess. Is what this is going to turn into. Maybe a ramp play. This is interesting. Fake A, run ramp. Here comes the util in towards A. It's a distraction, though. They are coming ramp. Peter hasn't flinched. Phone alone still set up, and it's a shutdown. Oh, oh it's a shutdown. They've gone into the blender. It's a one two punch, and it's going to be clean for party astronauts. That little light fake towards A made nobody flinch and PA read that all day. Wow. Yeah, just two flashes thrown. Like you mentioned, Party Ass was like, what is this? Nothing Nothing we need to worry about. Peter and Ponalone on lockdown in that crossfire towards the B ramp and a seventh round secured very easily. Not to mention it's their second round in this half, surviving all five players, which means that they will build up a decent chunk of change for themselves. Now Movie Star Riders coming through. They've got the full loss bonus and they're using it to get these AKs up and running. Alex having a peek towards outside this time. And Jonji, who's always a threat here, does get uh, tickled for a little bit of damage down to 74. But uh, he'll still be surviving. Peter spots out a player coming on through. He doesn't have the support of Pwn this time and he has to retreat to the B site. He is exposed. Ooh, attempted spam shots. Not going to connect. Trying to roll the dice. Trying to get a little, little lucky there for Pwn alone. That's not going to happen, and now they have given up ramp. They're very aware that there's presence here, but it's going to mean that the lower site is very vulnerable. He could use some support, could use some help, but no one's in a position to be able to rotate to help him. Vent is the only avenue of approach they've got available, frankly. And right now, Ben Leet's still focused on the squeaky control. Smoke goes down that might allow a rotate. But Movistar, having not made their move just yet, is going to hold Party Astronauts in place. Oh, and Peter wanted to get some info. He wanted to peek back up. And that's going to be a bit of a catastrophe. Even the cross out off the flashbang. Now they've got that spacing. And how does PA respond? That's a tough loss to take. At the least Pwn, sorry, Mike. At least oh. Pwn gets the info, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Peter wanted that info. Cost of a life is a big cost wow. to pay. And now they're getting beat up. They don't know which way to look. They don't know when to expect it. And they are getting deleted on approach. Big shot for Pwn alone might help him save this AWP if he wants, but it seems like he might take a look in for the hero play, and that's a bit too much to ask. Look, I mean, they have the money, so I don't mind it, especially considering they're playing so well on their CT side. They want to try and maintain that momentum, but Pwn just cannot do it, and he goes down. Yeah, it's a bit of a nutty shot to hit with the op coming in well, 1v3, right? you got to love the confidence, at least. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. But uh, they're going to shrink the, the lead to four. I think if Movistar can get out of this half with five, they're perfectly okay. Right? Yeah, they're there's content. no question. I mean, uh, T-side, five, six rounds is good on you. So, I mean, they're, they're okay. They're still not in too dire of a situation. But I think they need a couple of rounds in a row, which they still haven't found. Phone. Let me get flashed out here. And he falls back, but Peter will get cleaned out of, from the AK of deaths. 5v4 in favor of Movistar early on in the round. Jonji trying to catch up on here. Ben gets saved. Ooh. WG, and then Ben gets a second <laughs> right as Jonji finds Alex. He just jumps down off the rooftop to get him. DJ drops in. Pius only deaths left, and Ben Lee finds him. The Movistar writers have been isolated in their round victories every single time. What an awkward engagement for Movistar outside. <laughs> yeah, right? That grappling towards Mini. I, I mean, obviously, you're not expecting a player to be up on the garage roof. That's a weird spot to play that late into the round. And it catches them off guard. These unorthodox positions from Jonchi are really giving the Spanish squad fits. They just don't know where to expect him. And that's fair. That is the benefit of the wild card play style is mm -hmm. you really don't know how to read him in any individual round. So, well done. And then, obviously, Bentley. Well, it's always nice when Ben Lee's hit. It's a huge piece for them. 
Donji playing this a bit more traditional, trying to spam through this smoke, but it's Pwn alone to collect. Peering over the gap by the red box, he'll peel off of it, so only one kill found, but an advantage at least, and they know that these players are going down secret, so look at the adjustment. DJ's in position, Peter's come down as well. And there'll be a fast potential flank coming through from Johnji, who's been chilling in the garage here as well. Oh, yeah. And DJ could do some damage on the first spot, and he does! Headshot on Alex in the moment that he peeked from the stairs. Now he's gonna rotate back onto the site proper through the door. I don't know if they expect him to be there. Obviously, they saw the door being open, but now he does find himself a second at the back of site. Mopaz gets one, but Peter's right there for the trade. The party astronauts playing this perfectly up to this point, but Davy G does put a dent into their defense there with the frag oh, on Peter, and then wow. Ben. What a double back there from Davy G. He's got the bomb on his back, but John G will end it, rotating around finally to seal the deal nine to three for the party astronauts and you know what's great mike mm -hmm. is they're they're playing like we know the party astronauts can they feel it feels like we're watching them uh in a usual matchup on nuke absolutely this is the most comfortable they've looked in pro league so yeah. far uh it absolutely is and you're seeing them they're doing a good job of swarming as soon as they have the information right getting players in position so that they can play numbers games so that they can keep their opponents uncomfortable making sure that they're repositioned getting in towards site getting in towards engagements this is this is really nice to see from the party astronauts this this is the team that has us so excited right yes uh and obviously it's taken a while here in, in epl it's, it's been tough they've been up against that top end competition but if we can show that good form for the party astronauts, if they can get some more comfort, uh, even playing with the stand-in of Pete, obviously Pete hitting 12-7 and seven right now is certainly helping with that. Uh, I think uh, I think that's going to be a really encouraging sign for them as they head to their next objective, which I think their next is playing Challenger Playoffs, and that's then right. it's on to the RMR. So they've got a, a very full calendar ahead of them. Nothing to help build confidence, though. And a, a map win in EPL right in their last match. Something uh, going into those ECL playoffs. Could be more. Could be more. Unless most of it back here. Ben Leet is going to go down on the site proper. Good push here coming through. But DJ's up to the task with a 3k. Jonji pulls out the pistol and burns alive in the Molotov. So some Pius does manage to get through. And that was from the grave for Mopaz. Flashbang thrown, giving away the position of Peter in the vents. So something for some Pius to work with. And he will have rifles on the ground to pick up. There's the A1S on his back. Deagle still out, though. And he goes for the shot into heaven. I don't think he wants to do where he has a rifle yet. He just wants to stick with the Deagle. Whatever the case may be, Peter's going to clean his clock. And that's going to make it a 10-3 lead for the party astronauts into double digits. That's a good round that illustrates just how deadly Sun Pius is, though. He realizes, yes. he get, he identifies the two positions, and then he reads the peaks so well to give him a chance to at least shoot. Obviously, with just with the deagle, it doesn't work out. But you, you can still see the danger in, in what Sun Pius is capable of in that round, uh, the, way he, the way he's prepared for every potential engagement. Uh, still, double digits for Party Astronauts. As we said before, they've only found double digits in one map so far. In this season of EPL, and, and now they're looking like they might poison themselves to potentially win it. The fast play catches them off guard. Alex picking up the pace. He will be traded, but still a huge kill to find. Oh, nice oh, out. No. That's a little too fast. <laughs> My goodness, it's getting wild out here for the Movistar Riders. Uh, I mean, they do have a lot of space gained towards the double doors, but Pwn <laughs> spots out Davy G. Yeah, the bomb at his feet. He spotted him out right before the smoke bloomed. And now, Molotov thrown in. Pwn alone keeping them at bay. He knows they're going to have to try to go through observation. And he doesn't hit the shot. Did it connect? I don't know. No, he took no, some no, damage. No. no. But it must have been some, from elsewhere. Yeah. Um, 2v2. Ben Leet is going to clean out Mopaz. Only deaths left standing here. Taps off a shot, knows Ben is on his flank, so he's going to try and find him first, but he can't! It's Ben with a wicked headshot onto Deaths! He's into double-digit frag territory, up to 10, and the party astronauts have an 11-3 to lead here on Nuke. That's a that's a pulse pounder, though, for both oh, yeah. sides. I mean, if you're a movie fan, if you're a party astronauts fan, that, uh, all, of our, all of our EKG charts are spiking all over the place right now. That was, uh, that was a wild one. Okay, all right. Maybe Movistar trying to match the pace of the party astronauts themselves, right? The slow, methodical style hasn't been giving them results, so maybe uh, get a little little loosey-goosey with it. Go a little spicy into some of these peaks, into some of these fights, and it's been working out for them, but not this round. Because Alex is down for the count already, right off the rip, and Pone alone wants some more fights. Oh, good flashbang! How is Peter alive? There we go. He's been dealt with. 
Lovely Star Riders have the initial face in towards ramp, and now they're gonna go quick into the lower site. They want this final round. They want something to build upon. Ben Lee wants to get behind the green tower. This is madness, and he'll be punished for it. But Jonji, Jonji no. with three, Jonji the 4K to close out the half. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I don't know if this is quite the scoreline anyone was expecting. The 1x bet odds certainly still don't expect this, as those are pretty outrageous. But Movi Star are down 3 to 12 here at the half. Unbelievable. I mean, let's see what the T side has to offer. And DJ comes out explosively onto Ace. And Pius and Deaths get a couple, but it is going to be the party astronauts with the man Edge still. We're on to pistol round, so anything can happen here. And Davy G and Alex have a good crossfire set up. No utility to pinch on through. Let's see if uh, the pistols are enough for them. Alex gets spotted out down to zero now, and John G's flicking up with Pwn to look at heaven. All right, all right, Davy right. G's dropped 13 to three, Mike. NA fans, it's officially time to get excited. This one is looking very spicy indeed. Now it is still Movie Stars map pick. Right, but they're gonna have to do this the hard way. They're investing into this one. We did see the force by win for party astronauts in the first half. That would be a wonderful for Movistar to find, but it's gonna be a tough ask. Nova, no armor. That's spicy for Mopaz. That's interesting. Where is he going with the glass cannon, Nova? Where does he play with it? Top of Hut is the usual shotgun spot, but I don't know about a Nova. And he is doing it. He is making it happen. That eagle gets a lot of damage. A kill at that. But no more, and these Mac 10s are racing down to this lower really fast play. They just want to go for it, <laughs> and they're not clearing Jeez. corners, which is opening themselves up to some awkward exchanges. Jeffs, that's a huge kill to find. Uh -oh, this bomb uh -oh. is racing to be planted, but they're trying to battle in towards the double door. It's going to get awkward, and now the flank with a Nova. Maybe you wanted armor on that one. Still Peter stuck in the rat hole. He's got the bomb. He's got the Mac. Got a smoke up for the moment. But Deaths is behind the door, and Death has come a knocking. That's oh. going to be Movistar Riders winning the force by here to do back to the party astronauts what was done to them and give themselves a little bit better of an opening here. That was the problem there for the party astronauts. They just couldn't find him. He kept rotating back and forth from the doors to observation. And every single time he went there, he had the perfect engage engagement with the MP9 up close and personal. So that's the key there. And the Movistar Riders finally back to a round on the board, but it's still a very daunting scoreline. 13 to four in favor of the party astronauts who are gonna force up into this round. Interesting. It's gonna be four tech nines and the Deagle. We'll see if they go for a quick play off of those techs. And it will be that. Ben Lee finds Alex in mini. Then DJ spots out deaths. Mopas does get one response, but he's gonna be only one of two members left standing. And he can't find DJ in time before he loses nine HP. Sorry, only up to nine HP left on his person. And it's a 3v1 here. Fast and furious oh. action. And the party astronauts win the four spy with pistols only. Oh my, Mike. What is happening? 14 We're going to again. Four. We're going again. What? Movie stars are fully into chasing this particular dragon. They're going for it. And I love it. I love it. Feels just like NA. Force by Wars on Nuke. 
madness. Obviously, the problem is it gets a lot better for party astronauts from here on out. Now they got rifles. Now they got more utility. And meanwhile, for the other side, the, uh, sustaining a force by war on the CT side is always going to be a bit of a losing game. So it's Deagles, a 5-7, MP9 here. Let's see if they can bring the heat with the very limited guns. Johnji's already down on a vent drop, and there's no one here to receive him. So that's going to be a bit of a nightmare for them to deal with. Question is, I think, can Dub BG do something spicy? He just kicked the molly, so he's going to bail. He gave the audio cue. He's got to get out. Bummer for Davi G. It was looking like a decent spot, but... Are they going to re-aggress here? No, they'll boost him. They'll boost him into the corner. And for party astronauts, they're going to play a bit of a slower game, right? They've got John G behind enemy lines. It's a question of whether they can link up with him and move on through. Or if they're just going to leave him to hold this. They've got smokes for the cross. Two of them, at least. And down they'll go. Alex looking for a fight. Well, now this gets interesting. They are moving down secret. Mopaz wants to make the aggressive play. The smoke's going to fade. <laughs> ben Lee deletes. What a good shot there. Strengthy. And his rifle will find another. That should make this relatively comfortable. It's really just some pious that they have to get back here. Uh, passed uh, through here. And now that bomb's making its way to the cross. And Pius is in a bit of an awkward spot. But he's dealt with. And this one is clean wow. for the party astronauts. And that's going to be map point. <sighs> found john they just need one more and the economy is gone for the movie star riders this this smells like inferno it absolutely does um wow <laughs> so movie star riders took a risk in that round forced up and said we're gonna try to avoid overtime and that did not happen at all and now party astronauts still have mac 10s and peter um, I thought he was on a tech I was like, wow, Peter, let's settle down a little bit, but he does have the AK. Uh, <laughs> not quite, right. not quite. Not quite Full there. aggression from Movistar. That flashbang is good. Ben Leap full onto the front, but now it's a massacre back the other way. Pone alone's cleaned them up, and that's an exchange the T's will take every day of the week, because now they've just blown the doors off of ramp. They're straight in towards lower if they want it. Deaths is trying to rally. They're all rotating, swarming here. PA, they don't even have to commit. For a moment, they're going to hit the pause button and say, well, let's see what they've done. Have they Have they all rotated off of A? Have they? Because it looks like they have. Kind of feels like they have. No flanks coming on here. So what's Party Astronauts read? Just now, Deaths is trying to come back around to provide some presence on towards A. They spread out this CT side. And now a second player's floated up. So now B is softer. And that's where they wanted to go the whole time. Jeez. They just chilled out for a little bit. It's a vacant site now as Party Astronauts look to get a bomb plane and potentially close this map out 16-4. to Here comes a flash thrown in by DJ. And they are going to make their move towards this B site, which, as you mentioned, very much softened up. Alex is rotating around. Maybe he can catch a player off guard. He's got support from Decon, too. Deagle in hand. Map on the line for the Movistar Riders. 30 seconds left. Down. And they're going back. Yeah. Wow. This is actually wild. They've gone <laughs> everywhere. Mopaz is like, all right, I don't even know anymore what's happening. He's in the site, though. He could deny this bomb plan. Uh-oh. 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 They've overlooked a key piece. Oh. Mopaz was here. He came back through. But it should be all right. It should be all right. Problem is the Heaven player needs to drop. Now they don't have that Heaven control. That does take a position away from them. But it's just Alex with a Deagle, and he cannot keep what? them alive. A 4K for Pwn alone with the MAC-10, and a map win for the party astronauts they are not going completely winless here at esl pro league season 15 they got a map john <laughs> they got a map indeed and i mean not just a map mike 16 to 4